Welcome to The Know, I'm Blaine Gibson. So much is coming out leading to Comic-Con at the end of this month. Both movie studios and TV networks have done their fair share to release a few teases to keep you happy until the big event. Here's what we know so far. For starters, Warner Brothers has just released a first look of Henry Cavill as Superman in the upcoming Batman vs Superman Dawn of Justice. Probably the most notable difference is the fact that the Man of Steel is now rocking a gold belt. Earlier this year, we not only saw Ben Affleck in a new Batsuit, but we also saw a first look at the new Batmobile. For more on that, click here. Meanwhile, while talking about putting two of the most famous superheroes in comic book culture ever in one movie, Zack Snyder said, I was in no rush to put Batman in the movie, but on the other hand, it seemed organic the way the story was unfolding to start to feather him in. It's cool to see a crusty old Batman beating the snot out of guys. Adding, you can talk all you want about other superhero movies, but it's Batman and Superman. Let's just be honest, I don't know how you get bigger than that. We don't know either, Zack. However, Warner Brothers is expected to be at Comic-Con this year, and if all goes as planned, they will finally release their official plans for the DC Cinematic Universe and put an end to all this rumor madness. Oh, and how about a sneak peek of Dawn of Justice, guys? Come on, do us a solid. Anyway, speaking of major superhero blockbusters, while the Avengers Age of Ultron is still in production, lately there has been a lot of talk and interest in the possibility of a Hulk spinoff movie, more specifically a Planet Hulk film. However, Bruce Banner himself, Mark Ruffalo, shot down those rumors, saying that while the studios entertain the idea, there's still nothing definitive, not even a skeletal version of what it would be, adding, I don't think that that's the way to go yet. Nevertheless, Marvel Studios 2 will host a panel at Comic-Con, and Ruffalo has confirmed that the entire cast is making plans to attend, which isn't a big surprise since the biggest surprise of Comic-Con 2010 was the Avengers cast, but still pretty sweet. We also hope to hear about some new titles from Phase 3 of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, so we'll keep you posted. As far as TV goes, Warner Brothers Television is planning on debuting the previously leaked pilots of Constantine and The Flash on preview night. Both shows will also be a part of DC Entertainment's major event on Saturday in Hall H, along with Fox's upcoming Batman prequel series, Gotham, and the CW popular hit, Arrow. For everything you need to know about those shows, click here for The Flash and here for Constantine. And of course, other favorites will also be making their way to San Diego, like The Big Bang Theory, as well as new shows like The CW's I, Zombie. Attendees will also get a chance to see The 100, The Originals, The Vampire Diaries, Supernatural, and The Following. Now, don't forget, Rooster Teeth is hosting RTX this weekend, which means we'll be bringing you all the biggest news and updates from our annual event. So, to make sure you keep up with all things Rooster Teeth, as well as video games and entertainment, click like and subscribe, and we'll keep you in the know. <laughs> Alright, we'll, we'll do one more. Are you fucking kidding me? We'll do another. <laughs>